How's it going guys? Welcome to a brand new video. I am UAM Loki and we are going to be doing some Chambers of Zarek. I know you probably never thought that would happen on this channel. Also, as I'm editing this, I actually have COVID. So just like, if you wouldn't mind pity liking the video and pity subscribing. I'm just kidding. I would never ask you guys to do that unless... <laughs> But yeah, all we needed from Chambers of Zarek is the Ancestral Hat. So we're going to keep doing this until we get that. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Also, we're going to plant hella herb seeds. So you can watch the seed stack in the inventory go down and down as the video progresses. Alrighty, guys. There is the first trade of the video completed. If at any point we get the Ancestral Hat and the series is over, can we get the hat, please? That is a no hat right there, but that is all right. Soul runes and the sapphire is beautiful. And nothing to set the mood for the video, like a nice little eight minute tecton. You love to see it. All right, another raid completed. Let's see if we can get some stuff. No stuff, 532 KC. Um, however, it is Thursday evening, which means tomorrow's Friday, which means I'm going to produce a video tomorrow. So I'm going to go start editing tonight. So I'll be at least part of the way done by the time tomorrow comes around. And then I'll be doing some more raids tomorrow. And, uh... Yeah. So, what might we be doing while we edit, you may ask? Well, historically on the account, we've just uh, sort of passively maxed while editing videos. However, now, obviously, we're maxed. I got the max cape, so I'm not going to be doing that, I guess. Uh, th the thing that I've decided on, pretty much the only thing I can think of that's even remotely useful doing, is crafting soul runes. So, I've got our remnants of the eye set here that, like, doubles the runes you get or whatever. It doesn't double it. I think it, like, 1.6x is the runes you get for mooncrafting. I don't know if this is the best thing to do, but this is the only thing I can think of. So I guess we will get to doing that. We'll also sort of be passively working on getting the Rift Guardian through this grind. So that'll be pretty cool. That's one of my favorite skilling pets and one of my favorite pets in general. I think there's like a 50% chance you get the Rift Guardian if you craft Bloods from 79 to 99 mooncrafting, which is what we did years ago. We did not get it, unfortunately, but that's all right because we're back now. And yeah, this is just incredibly AFK. So it's going to be nice. Comment below if you have any ideas for things that I should do while maxing. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's now Friday. The day that Dead Man mode comes out, I'm just watching Bodhi stream the fucking first seconds of Dead Man. It's, I love, I love, like, fresh world starts. Like, it's just so fucking hype, man, watching this. Like, the servers have only been out for literal seconds. It just reminds me of the days, like, when old school RuneScape first started. Like, the actual day it started, and everyone had no fucking clue what they were doing, and they were all running around, and it was, like, totally chaotic and crazy and amazing and wonderful and fantastic and splendid and amazing. The only real taste of that that we we get these days is like i guess leagues and then dead man and then maybe even fresh start worlds but that was like a one-off thing it's just like a very special thing to me so I'm, I'm, I'm having a good time Alrighty, friends we are done editing the video looks like we got around 100,000 runecrafting xp today we also got like 150k last night so 250k not too bad and yeah 13,000 soul runes i think we buy them from the shop for like 237 gp each so that means we effectively have saved three mil by doing this no rift guardian unfortunately but that's that's all right. All right. So since we had the soul runes, decided to buy some chaos runes. I think like 5,000 charges worth of chaos runes. So, you know, we spent like 2.5 mil for that. We'll go ahead and throw them in the shadow. Boom. You love to see it. You guys want to know how to know if Loki is excited to do CMs? You look at his feet because if he's not even wearing boots, that means he was too excited to grab boots on the way over here and he forgot to do that. Actually, I was just preemptively removing my boots from this part of the raid where you take them off because they give negative range bonus. It's a pretty advanced strat. You guys probably wouldn't understand. And we didn't even get a purple. Oh, hey, look, three hours for me and three seconds for you. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to go to bed after this one. It's 2 a.m. I didn't realize what time it was. Sleeping schedule is important to me, so I can't sacrifice that even for RuneScape unless this is a purple, except that's not even a purple. But yeah, that is actually 10 raids completed today. I've been trying to get 9 or 10 a day for the last, well, since we started the 500 KCs. I'm on a fucking tear right now. I have so much drive to do this raid, so I'll see you guys in the morning. What's up, guys? I'm just uh, looking down at my weather widget. And it says that like, I've never seen it say it, but it's 91 degrees. It's currently like 1230. But yeah, it says near record. So I don't know. I've never seen a widget say that. Here we go. We're, we're going to, we're going to have a near record day, I guess. All right. This is like one of the last clips I've been hunting. We're going to go for the overload wear off ticket and we didn't even get it but honestly i don't even know if it works i feel like it would i guess we'll keep hunting for that though uh it, it went from near record heat to like raining in the same day <laughs> so yeah that's just how florida is i guess raid raid holy shit 
Is that the Duke pet? I did not know he looks like that. That is special. That is very special that we have that <laughs> in RuneScape. <laughs> wow. Another raid completed. No purple. But that is the uh, third <laughs> triple digit reverse sequential descending numerically oriented KC. So if you wanted me to say that, there you go. If not, then get I don't know man. I can sense you want to come over here, but you're not supposed to do that. So please don't do that. Fuck, why do I ever know purple 544kc? Hey, the elite clue will take it. All right, this is pretty exciting, except not that exciting, just like medium exciting. We get to use our first ever, uh, where is it? Kandarin headgear elite tier. Now that it's the completed Kandarin headpiece thing. We get unlimited teleports to Sherlock now, whereas before we only get like one a day. All right. There is the elite caskets. Ooh, what do we get? All right, another raid completed. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. All right. Well, that's a pretty cool thing to see. Metamorphic dust number three. Yeah. Um, but it's a one in 400. And now we got three of them in 545kc. Uh, I just had a big martini, so I was not expecting to get this. I don't really know how to react to that. It's probably fine. Use it on the pet. Nothing happens. Except if you use it on the omelet pet, it says you have already unlocked the metamorphosis ability for your pet. So that's a pretty cool thing that you would never need to know ever. And um, yeah, it's a sparkly essence of chambers of Zeric bosses. Allows you to metamorphosize the pet, but we can't do anything with the duplicate of that let alone a triplicate so i guess you just drop it that's what you do with that <laughs> yeah that is you know obviously rarer than the thing that we're trying to go for so that's a little sad but yeah we will keep on going hey elite clue let's go do it ah dang it the bob shirt steps that's gonna be a drop that's unfortunate but that's all right also i did a little bit of calculating actually um oddly enough that was exactly raid number 1900 if uh you count challenge modes as being worth two raids and normal raids as being worth one raid we should have 65 purples and we have 65 purples which is great also i realized something um oh wait that's not the right window hold on uh here we go yeah at 451 KC, we had 63 purples. I didn't even realize, but we've only gotten two purples in the last 100 KC. So yeah, I guess we're going insanely dry at the moment, which is unfortunate. Anyway, yeah, I'm tired, so I got to go to bed. And yeah, I'll see you guys later. All right, there's another raid completed. Oh, yes, finally a purple. Okay, third purple in the last 100 KC. There is a one in 23 chance that this is the ancestral hat and that we are done here forever and we get it no we cannot <laughs> man man oh man been a while since we've gotten one so i guess that feels nice but <laughs> it's always the prayer scroll man so 50th prayer scroll the hat continues to elude us 69 purples coincidentally will bring us up to three times the drop rate for the hat so that's pretty cool hopefully we'll be getting that in the next like 50 kc so we'll see what happens with that let me go ahead and drop the arcane over to the bond alt here and let's go ahead and hop into the next raid oh hey look five hours for me and five seconds for you no purple but that is the big old 555 kc called jg wentworth now for your money wait a sec call fight to 300 empire today i don't know what i'm talking about man neat an elite clue that'll probably give us something not bad wait is this my first lamp i've ever gotten having maxed it might be so i don't know what we put lamps in from now on guess like whatever skill is slowest to train probably slayer right or runecraft yeah i guess we'll just throw it in runecraft because then that guy who's furiously typing his comment about how the skill is actually called runecrafting can be wrong because the skill is actually called runecrafting crafts and so get fucked all right there is the elite casket tool what do we get that's a big old clue right there some stuff and a master i guess we'll go see if we can do that never mind wilderness steps to start us off so that's just gonna be a drop but that's all right all right well i don't know why it took me like a thousand years to realize this but i've been doing this thing recently and it's pretty useful essentially we just uh overload into redemption at the end of tecton it's essentially as if we can bring in two more potatoes which is great if the 
overload doesn't proc the redemption, then we just do a little bit of tornado damage. And sometimes you can even get lucky and like redemption into potato into overload redemption. And then you're getting like 50 HP for free. Uh, but usually we'll just do the one redemption. And yeah, it's just really nice. So I wanted to share that with you. Another raid completed. Time for a purple. Oh, fuck yes. Yes. All right. All right. All right, man. Probably like 12 KC from the last one. I can't believe we just got that. Okay. Here we go. There is a 1 in 23 chance that we never do any chambers ever again because we get the hat. No hat. Fuck. Yep. Yeah, that's back to back arcanes. So uh, that's all right, man. Uh, Yeah. <sighs> Let's keep on going. <laughs> This guy was halfway through typing the raid layout to his team, and then he saw me, so he said, Guard, Ice, Loki! I love to see it. Raid, raid, raid. Alright, so tonight is girlfriend night. It's the allotted time to spend with the GF. So this is gonna have to be the last raid for the night, but as you can see here, we're currently on like a six-hour log. So to compensate for the XP waste, we're gonna go ahead and go for a UIM challenge mode six-hour record. So if we don't get the purple here, then we'll have to get it another day. So let's see if we can get a nice little purple here no purple it's a white light that's all right death runes in the myth or but yeah so we might have gotten 5kc or probably even 6kc in the last five hours i could probably do one more raid especially if i wasn't like meandering around for all these five raids like looking up stuff periodically and reading things but we do update player hey <laughs> that was six nice six raids in five hours love to see it oh uh, yeah we're rank five now it's not like that special you could easily get like probably like 20 12 raids in six hours if you just do like five mans with like a bunch of maxed people but i am happy to have gone for it because i like that kind of stuff so coincidentally we're also rank five on the uim challenge modes yearly records 464 challenge modes in the last year also rank five on the monthly so that's kind of weird rank six on the week so we don't have the rank five on that but anyway none of that really matters uh we're probably just going to do like 20 farm runs over the next few days as we hang out with the gf so yeah i didn't do any farm runs while going for the six hour record to like ensure that we got more raids so <laughs> if only she knew the sacrifices that we make for her all right well it turns out the girlfriend is not coming over so <laughs> all of the last like two minutes of clips was not for any reason anymore but i guess we did a bunch of raids which is good so was it worth it yes all right well i feel like i haven't showed this in a while but we are gonna use those soul runes to charge up our staff of tumikins so we put those in there and now it's got more charges and that is what you'll love to see. All right, nice little raid completed, 572kc. Oh, damn, okay, we're back on the fucking purple streak. Second purple today, I'm pretty sure, 572kc. One in 23 chance this is the ancestral hat, please get it. <laughs> wow. All right, Dragon Claws number two. Nice little 88 mil drop for the Bond Alts. Um, we'll take that. That's the same drop rate as the uh, Ancestral. Also same drop rate as the Dins. I guess like once we get three Claws, three Dins, we'll have three Ancestral tops and bottoms, and then we can like be like Y Yagex. But until then, we'll just uh, keep getting other stuff, it looks like. Um, yeah, 572 KC, Dragon Claws number two. Can't forget the obligatory... Uh, drop into the bond alt sexy item to see on the ground in the wilderness and it's now claimed yeah, i'm just gonna go ahead and sell this because i don't know i feel like selling some stuff we'll also sell these three arcanes that we've gotten nice little uh 100 mil basically so we'll take it all right folks well it's hurricane time in the florida sector of earth hopefully we don't tc on these next raids all right we got the elite clue step to go to dorgish khan to fix the light orb this is not something i would normally do with an active death bank because if we dc here due to the hurricane Oh, well, I guess we have a light source because of the max cape as well. But I was just going to say that one of the perks of the max cape is that it'll teleport you out of danger because of the defense cape, which is essentially just a ring of life. So I was going to say, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm risking this clue step. I'm risking the DC. I'm risking the five bill stored in Hespori. If we were to take damage from being underground from the bugs that get you. And then this is a really long explanation now. But anyway, none of it even mattered. So I'm just going to go back to doing the elite clue, I guess. Four steps in. That's a drop. That's fine. What's up, guys? We got the hurricane coming in here. It's just the very edge of it. So it's just starting. But it's already pretty wet. I just mowed the lawn, so it'll be good, I guess. The only thing that's out is this AC unit, so hopefully that doesn't get destroyed. But it's supposed to be going like pretty far north of us, so it shouldn't even be 
direct contact. But yeah, we are we are ready. I'm excited. What's up, guys? Uh, hurricane update number two. It's currently 11 p.m. on the dot. I don't know if you can see that because I'm using the front cam, but just finished a raid and the rain is starting to pick up. The very edge of the strong part of the hurricane is now above us. And now I'm going to partake in something that you Florida natives might recognize. It's kind of a fun Florida tradition. It's called hurricane wine. Basically, you just drink wine, but during the hurricane. The hedonic treadmill of the Floridian speaks for itself. So we've got a couple bottles here. One of these is worth like 60 bucks. So I guess we'll just take this. Maybe we'll get lucky, but I probably wouldn't even know if I was drinking a good wine or not. So there you have it. Oh, it looks like water. Wow. Okay, I guess it's a little tinted, but that is very clear. Also, it wouldn't really be a hurricane update without like a fucking hurricane update. Although it's pretty dark out here, that's the sky. No hurricane, but it's very wet and it's getting pretty windy, although it's not even that windy. So hopefully a super mild hurricane for us because I don't want to lose my house. Anyway, that's probably all. All right, fam, it's the morning. I guess let's uh, assess the damage here. Also, I legit like cut my beard so weird. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> it was raining so incredibly hard last night and now it's just like, sunny there's some clouds but like it is incredibly mild there's not even that much flooding or anything um <laughs> the rain was like insane it was like dumping so hard i've never seen it rain that hard in my life it was kind of hard to sleep all night but the hurricane completely passed through the night and now we're in the clear so i'm going to enjoy my espresso and then we'll get back to some rains all right, here's the actual last update for the hurricane. Um, it's essentially my two month anniversary with this spider who also turns out survived the hurricane. You're not gonna be able to see it because this camera never focuses on it, but I promise you there is a spider right there. And his web is still intact, even though there was a hurricane. So like, get fucked hurricane, I guess. Yeah, hey, he's still there. I like this guy, he looks crazy. Apparently he's a uh, spined orb weaver. Yeah, hurricane successfully avoided, I would say. Oh, hey, look, more five seconds for you and five hours for me. Didn't we just get that exact drop last raid? I'm pretty sure we did, yeah. Dark Relic and the Addy Ore, like 99% sure we just got that. That's crazy. I don't think, I can't think of a single time I've ever gotten back-to-back -back identical drops. Wow, okay, we almost died, but we didn't die. That is 581KC coming in with Twisted Ancestral Color Kit number eight, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, number nine, okay. Yeah, I've gotten so many of those, I lost count, I guess. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, I guess we just dropped that. We could theoretically have three full Ancestral Kits now all colored to Twisted. Obviously, that's not gonna happen on this account. Got the Dark Relic. Go ahead and put that on Agility, because why not? And then the Aventos are just gonna be a drop, so we'll go ahead and drop those to the Bondalt. <laughs> Yeah, we are gonna keep on going. Fun fact, Iron Men can pick up ashes from other players. So they're not even really Iron Men and it's 3 a.m. So I'm gonna go to bed. Just a little bit of commentary here. I mean, this is a no prep raid. Sometimes I'll just go for these. Essentially, it takes me like a minute 20 to prep no matter what I'm prepping. Even if like if it's like one brew, it still takes like a minute 10 versus prepping five brews takes like a minute 20. So essentially, we just have to like use strats where we don't take damage on Ulm, which means we're usually like running the head which means we're not DPSing, which means it's a slower kill. However, if it's like not more than a minute 20 slower, then it's worth it to no prep because that means we have a net time save. I don't think this is actually like worth it, but I don't know, sometimes I do it, I guess, just to mix up the pacing here. Yeah, on this particular raid, we got like exceedingly average RNG and the no prep worked out just perfectly. Ideally, you want to finish the raid with no supplies left because that means you utilized all of your supplies to speed up the raid. And yeah, so there is the raid completely completed. Can we get some stuff? 588kc no stuff. The rune arrows and the prayer scroll will take it. Fun fact, our stamina potion stack is now at exactly 15,000 doses. Um, it's not like that fun, but it's a little bit fun. I would say that's kind of fun. Alrighty, what's up guys? Today is Thursday, which means it's time to start editing the next video for Friday. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and set up our account for some soul rune crafting so we can AFK that while editing. Also, we're finally down into the double digits on our toad flax seed stack. <laughs> 
toad flax seed stack. That's like the most satisfying thing to say ever. But yeah, we're looking good. We've planted like close to 3000 herb seeds in the last like two months. So it's definitely really nice to see that thing going down and we'll probably finish that within the next few days. Um, but yeah, so I guess we'll go ahead and suicide to Hespores. Oh shit, thank God I remembered. Pretty much like every time I suicide to edit videos, I forget to bank the pet, uh, but now he's in here. So he's not gonna get deleted from the game. I probably deleted that guy like probably 10 times at this point. So that's like a one mil loss every time that happens. So glad we remembered to do that. Gotta remember to take off the max cape so we don't get the defense cape ring of life effect because that happened last time. And then I died in Griftonus and had to re-suicide to Hespori after picking up all my stuff. And that was kind of annoying in any way. This clip's getting kind of long. So let's go ahead and cut to the next clip. All right, well, we finished editing the video and we got some soul runes while we did that. So normally we would buy soul runes for like 237 GP each. So we essentially have saved about three mil GP over the last like six or seven hours or whatever. So that's great. Also, the chance for the Rift Guardian pet per soul rune is 1 out of 780,000 at level 99 runecraft, which means we got a 1.6% uh, chance at getting the pet during this editing session. Looks like we did not get it, but that is fine. Yeah, I guess with that, we can uh, get back on into the raids. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and hand this off to outro Loki. We managed to get up to 590 KC in this video, so this might be the most challenge modes I ever did in one video. Just about 60 hours of content, and yeah, that is a good place to leave it so with that as always guys thank you for watching stay safe out there take care until next time i love you bye massive shout out to the youtube members at the silver tier we've got chester thornforge brendan toasty the wizard benjamin h cookie cake gangplank main nihilism rape trogothor chicken noodles clump alfredo jbt fruboy cope and jacob p for the gold tier we've got like a wolf iaa misc david boone killer queen shockley six dubbing till death gilly obtainable beer mfs i'm more in tripod soap ski big dick 69 it's let's remove squirrel lots in one with everything bagel massive thank you and cheers guys see you in the next one